Hi, my name's Andy Wistons. I've been with RAC for around five years. Prior to that, I was a workshop technician for around 13. Today, we're gonna to be talking to you about essential packing for driving on the continent. When traveling overseas, there are a few compulsory documents that you need to take with you. Firstly, your passport, which needs to be valid and have at least six months to run on it. You need to take your full driving license, including the paper counterpart. Proof of vehicle ownership, known as your V5 or vehicle logbook. And you need to have your vehicle motor insurance certificate with you. During recent times, there has been a change as to what paperwork you need to present when hiring a vehicle overseas. So for all the latest information, go to the RAC website. Some other important points to remember about driving in Europe is that you will need driving permits in some of the Eastern European countries, for example, Croatia or Slovenia. These are readily available to purchase at the checkpoints. Further to that, in Switzerland, you may need a permit or a vignette to drive on the motorway. Uh, failure to have one of these may result in a fine, so it's really important that you do get one and they are readily available in most shops across the country. And lastly, I'd recommend that you always carry cash in your vehicle because across Europe there are many toll roads so you don't want to be caught short. For more country specific information on driving in Europe, head to the RAC website. Two things that you need to consider before embarking on your European road trip. Firstly, never assume that your breakdown cover extends to the continent. You may need to take out one of our European breakdown cover policies for that added peace of mind. And secondly, you need to make sure that you've got the right level of motor vehicle insurance cover. Often, insurance companies only give third party insurance on the continent, so you may need to pay a premium to upgrade. When driving on the continent, particularly in countries like France, Italy and Spain, there are a few essential items that you need to take with you. Firstly, the warning triangle. In the event that you suffer a breakdown, this needs to be placed at the rear of your vehicle so any following traffic are aware that there's a stranded vehicle in their way. The high-vis vest needs to be carried with you at all times. If you are stranded, you need to put this on so oncoming traffic can see you. The GB sticker is essential when driving abroad. It's placed at the rear of the vehicle. Some cars have the GB sticker on the end of the number plate. Included in this kit, there are some right-hand drive headlamp beam converters. You fit these to your headlamps so that you don't blind any oncoming traffic on the continent. Most new modern vehicles have the function to adjust the headlamp inside the vehicle. Some non-essential items, but we do recommend you take these with you, is a replacement bulb kit. If you have a bulb out at the roadside, you can replace a bulb and make sure that your vehicle remains legal. A first aid kit, should anybody suffer a small injury at the roadside. And a fire extinguisher, just in case. There are a couple of essentials in some particular countries, namely France. You need to carry a breathalyzer kit with you at all times. It's an inexpensive piece of kit, but there could be a fine if you get caught without one. And in Spain, if you do wear glasses when you're driving, you need to make sure that you've got a spare pair in the vehicle with you at all times, else again, there could be a fine. Now, all of these items are available in kit format from the RAC shop online, so go and check it out.